Today, the market is buzzing and Sophie is a hot topic. Let's dive into what's happening with Sophie right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. To begin with, Sophie's stock has surged by 2.36%. The stock hit a high of $6.93 and a low of $6.68 early in the day. The driving force behind this rise is the Consumer Price Index CPI, which has implications for interest rate cuts. The CPI numbers came in better than expected, both on a month-over-month -month and year-over-year -year basis. The month-over-month -month figure was minus 0.14% beating the forecast of 0.1%, while the year-over-year -year number was 3%, slightly below the anticipated 3.1%. This improvement in CPI data has increased the likelihood of interest rate cuts. For the upcoming September meeting, there's now an 84.6% chance of a 25 basis point cut. Just yesterday, this probability was at 70%. Moreover, there's now an 8.1% chance of a 50 basis point cut. This shift is significant, especially considering Anthony Noto's recent interview, where he mentioned the possibility of two rate cuts in 2024. If we look ahead to the November and December meetings, it seems likely that these cuts will materialize. There's even a possibility of another 25 basis point cut in November, which is great news for Sophie. Interestingly, there hasn't been any specific news from Sophie itself today. There are no new SEC filings or announcements, this makes today a highly technical day for Sophie's stock. With 39.3 million shares traded compared to the average of 31.09 million, there's a lot of activity, particularly from institutional transactions over $100,000. Unfortunately, most of these transactions are sales, based on the bid, ask, and sell prices. Algorithmic trading seems to be driving this, piggybacking on the broader market trends and pushing many stocks higher. Now, let's talk about the technical aspects of Sophie's stock. Shorts are returning 1.01 million shares, with 17.9% of the free float being shorted. This equates to 185.82 million shares overall. The cost to borrow average is 0.6, slightly lower than the previous trading day. Yesterday, we also saw the cost to borrow minimum turn negative, which is a pattern we've seen before. Typically, when this happened, shorts double down the following day, so we need to be prepared for that. Interestingly, the short interest has decreased slightly from around 18% to 17.9%. The NASDAQ recently released a report showing that as of June 28, 18.1% of the free float was being shorted, amounting to 187 million shares. This data is used by various platforms to calculate the current short interest leading to the new estimate of 17.9%. This decrease in short interest validates today's green day for Sophie, which is a positive sign. Looking at options activity, there's been a lot of interest in Sophie. Today, 9.31 million in calls and 1.2 million in puts have been traded. This indicates that a lot of money is flowing into Sophie through options. Interestingly, 46% of all options traded today are optimistic and bullish. If we look at the open interest for calls, there are 24,000 open contracts at the $6.50 strike price and 31,000 at the $7 strike price. If Sophie can hold the $6.50 level by tomorrow, market makers might buy about 2.4 million shares on Monday, potentially causing a spike in the stock price. The positive momentum we've seen this week could carry over into next week, but we'll have to wait and see. Even though today's action was driven largely by the CPI data, the stock had already laid the groundwork for a move higher. Sophie is currently trading between the S1 and pivot levels, with strong support at $6.28 and resistance at $6.75. If the stock can break above $6.75, it could validate the Elliott Wave technicals I mentioned a few days ago, projecting a move to around $7.30. This would put Sophie in a good position to trade within the pivot and R1 levels. However, we must remain cautious because of market manipulation. Many investors are excited about today's action, but we need to remember that shorts often double down when the cost to borrow turns negative. 
This could create some resistance around the pivot point at $6.75. Additionally, Sophie's stock is flirting with its 50-day moving average. Historically, when the stock stays above this average, it tends to rise by about 30%. The last time it stayed above the 50-day moving average for more than two days was in late February 2024, when it remained above this level for five days before pulling back. Looking ahead, Sophie's earnings report is right around the corner, which could provide the push the stock needs to reach new highs. Currently, the stock is stuck in a bit of a limbo, but the stochastic indicator shows a bullish deviation with the white line above the red. The indicator is at 55, which is considered neutral, not overbought or oversold. Despite the lack of significant institutional buying, retail investors are showing interest in Sophie, which is a positive sign. Retail buying can sometimes drive significant price movements, so it's worth watching how this plays out. In conclusion, Sophie is experiencing an exciting day driven by positive CPI data and the anticipation of interest rate cuts. The technical indicators and options activities suggest that the stock has the potential for further gains, especially if it can break through key resistance levels. However, we must remain cautious of potential short selling and market manipulation. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.